ask yourself, what practical good is there in believing that God is ultimately controlling your desires and choices? What practical good can that be for you? Uh, especially if you're dealing with habitual sins, as I have in my life. And I had a struggle with that as a Calvinist, a young Calvinist, and was dealing with uh, my own addictions and my own sinful thoughts, and, and as many, uh, if not all men do at one point in their, in their lives. And then ultimately being being convinced that the reason I was dealing with those addictions is because God decreed for me to deal with those addictions mm -hmm. for his glory, no less. And I was actually told by a Calvinistic mentor that the reason I was dealing with the lust and those issues was to keep me humble. Uh, okay, what, what, what is every addict looking for? An excuse, a rationalization yeah, sure. for their addiction. And he gave me the best one you could possibly imagine. Wow. God sovereignly and unchangeably decreed for your lust and your addictions to keep you humble and to glorify himself. Wow. Yeah. Now I got exactly what I need to continue right where I am in my addiction but versus that's what taking gonna, ownership. Golly. That's what I was going to ask you. So, so did you buy into that excuse? Did you embrace it? Yeah, I did. Oh, I did for wow. many years, uh, which, which just continued to make me uh, more, <laughs> more addicted yeah. and, and, and further fall further into my addictions. Um, it, it, Everybody knows, anybody who's been through the 12-step programs, those kinds of things, the first thing you have to say is, this is my choice. I'm the addict. Yeah. My, it's, you own your sin. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, most Calvinists would, you would say, you're not supposed to think that way. You, know, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't think that way. But I always push back and say, okay, what are the logical implications of the claims of your system? If the logical implications of the claim of your system is that the reason that I am falling into this addiction is because God sovereignly and unchangeably decreed for me to be in this addiction, then the logical implications is that God is the one who's the cause of my addiction, not me, not my choices, not really. And therefore, what is my only hope? God, stop decreeing it. Stop decreeing my lust. Stop decreeing my addiction. That's your only hope. You become, in a sense, a victim of whatever you think God has decreed for you to be mm -hmm. versus saying, no, God has provided all that I need to resist temptation. He has provided me a way out. He has provided me accountability. He has provided me a church. He has provided me brothers who sharpen my iron and challenge me and that I have to be honest with who I am and with what I'm struggling with. And I have to be real. I have to be vulnerable. It is, it is on Leighton, not on a divine, sovereign, unchangeable decree before the creation of the world that I have no control over. You have to take individual ownership of your choices. We see this in every other walk of life, if you think about it. You see people say, well, I'm in this condition because of the color of my skin, mm. because of my <laughs> gender, right. because of who my parents are. Because of the government, the man is keeping me down. Mm -hmm. Everybody, even a lot of Calvinists out there are, are strong, independent type Republican, uh, libertarian types, right? You have to take individual ownership of your responsibility. The same is true in your religious world. You have to take independent in, uh, ownership of your responsibility, your responsibility of your choices. And what Calvinism does, whether it recognizes it or not, is undermining that independent responsibility of your choices. And it can cause, not it always does, but it can cause people to fall into a fatalistic way of thinking about their own choices in life. And it can and it can cause damage to the point where people really legitimately can give up ownership of their own choices and abrogate their responsibility over to God. Oh, I'm supposed to humble myself? Not really. God is supposed to humble me through some irresistible work of grace. Mm. Instead of saying, no, that's your responsibility. You need to go get alone in a closet and you need to own up for who you are and what you've done.